school in Butler County. As Local 12 News reporter Larry Davis tells us, more people are dying, but health officials are not giving up hope. The number of drug overdose deaths in Butler County increased by nearly 21% last year. 82% of those deaths were linked to heroin and fentanyl. 20% of those deaths were tied to synthetic fentanyl compounds like carfentanyl. The Butler County Coroner is frustrated. We have so many efforts going on in the county to help decrease this, and yet we continue to see increases in deaths. While many law enforcement officers are not equipped with Narcan when they respond to an overdose, paramedics are, and so are more and more families. The Butler County Health Department hands out Narcan for free. I wish everyone could carry Narcan, but there are uh, forces that prevent that. Um, EMS is a pretty fast responder, so um, we are hopeful that 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 does the trick for most people. The opioid epidemic is not only impacting the coroner's office, but the health department as well. Officials here say that they're seeing a big increase in hepatitis C and HIV. Since 2002, hepatitis C has grown by 322% in Butler County. Since 2013, HIV has gone up 46% in Butler County. While most of the news from today's news conference was bad, there were some positives. More and more agencies are working together. There are new educational programs. All this, though, will take time to produce a positive result. I'm hoping that 2018 will be better. Um, it, it, as you can see, it's, it's almost a moving target in terms of the drugs that we're seeing, the additional um, mental health issues that, that go with it. So, I mean, it's, it's a big beast. And health experts also say that overdoses from methamphetamine were four times higher than the year before. The theory is, as more people see others dying from heroin and fentanyl, they are resorting to another drug of choice.